Hey game developers, Bala from Zenthinity.net, and welcome to another Unity tutorial. And in this one we're going to be talking about how to make uh, an object go from one point to another over uh, linear increments through a period of time. So that's what lerping is, linear interpolation. Um, and a lot of people often use this incorrectly because they don't really understand how it works. Um, like I did, for example, before. Uh, but basically, what we're going to be doing is instead of just tossing in a value of time dot delta time into a lerp function, uh, we're going to be checking the percentage of time we have left uh, so that the increments are equal over periods of time. So uh, this is not necessarily what you want for something smoothly moving, but for something to move exactly from one point to the next um, with exact increments, this is what you would want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and start by creating a C-sharp script here called uh, lerp helper and I'll go ahead and open that um, and what I'm gonna do is first uh, added an attribute for started lerping here so private bool um, or a should lerp equals false okay um, and now what we want is a function that will actually start us from lerping or uh, start lerping sorry so private um, start lerping Right, okay, um, and then I'm going to make a few more attributes here. So I'll start with a public vector 3. Um, actually, I'll go with vector 2, end position, and then uh, I think we can say start position. Not sure yet if I'm just going to use the uh, transform position, but uh, I'll keep this here just in case. Okay, um, and now what we're going to want is a time when we started lerping here. So let's say public float time started lerping and then we want a public float um, lerp time right um, so I'll explain what these are in just a little bit um, but first I'm gonna go ahead and create the function for actually lerping right so public um, vector 3 yeah vector 3 uh, lerp oh sorry lerp um, and yeah, so we'll say vector3 uh, start and vector3 end. Okay, uh, so now we want a couple more things that you typically won't see, which are the float time started lerping again. And then we'll also have the uh, float lerp time, which is equal to 1. Okay, um, so basically we're going to use some calculations here to find the percentage we have complete of our lerp function, uh, and then we will be able to, based off of that, uh, you know, do stuff with them, basically. So let's go ahead and write first uh, float, um, actually, sorry, these are the wrong attributes here. We want to say float time since started equals time dot time minus time started lerping. And this is only here because we want to use it for figuring out the percentage complete which is equal to time since started um, divided by lerp time. Okay, uh, and now with our percentage complete, we can go ahead and call the unity function here, vector three dot lerp start end and percentage complete. Okay, so notice how in our t in lerp, uh, we put percentage complete, and that's because the way that the lerp function uh, calculates what to do is based off of a percentage that we've already lerped past, right? Um, so this way we get, rather than um, smoother or smaller and bigger uh, increments, we have a specific linear increment that's made uh, based off of what we're doing here. Okay, uh, so uh, based off of that, we can go ahead and just start lerping with this um, right after I return result here. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is go ahead and go to our start lerping function, and we want to write um, our time started lerping is going to be equal to the current time, right? Uh, and now we can just go ahead and try calling our function here, right? So transform dot uh, position. Actually, we're not going to use that here. We're going to use uh, just lerp, um, I think, from start position. Uh, to end position, 
Uh, and now we want to say time started lerping, which is time started lerping, and lerp time. OK. Um, and so uh, this is going to actually return our de next desired vector 3 here. So what I'm going to do is put this inside of our update function. So I'll say if uh, should lerp. Uh, then we're going to say transform transform.position equals lerp. Uh, and so this lerp will keep being consistent between our start and end here. Um, and I'll go ahead and in start say start lerping. And I meant to instead of write lerp here, write should lerp equals true. And so what that will do is trigger in this update function uh, this lerping. Okay, so why don't we go ahead and uh, apply all these values here in our inspector. And on this new sprite, I'm just going to drag our lerp helper. Okay, um, and so we'll say we don't need to change this. Uh, I'll make lerp time one second. Um, oops. And our end possession, I'll make six, and our start, negative six. Uh, so now we can go ahead and try running this here. So I'll hit play. And perfect. So our character, over the course of one second, uh, moved from six to negative six, or sorry, negative six to six. Uh, so that is actually um, everything that I wanted to show you in this video. So if this helps you out, uh, make sure to hit like. Uh, and hit subscribe to see the rest of these tutorials. Um, if you want to check out how to make your first game faster, we got a free ebook in the top right, so go ahead and check that out. It's on all the game dev tools you need for your first game. And if you want to check out a free sample from our course, click that in the top right right now. And with all that said, I will see you in the next video, and have an awesome day.